All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Star Citizen Live. Meet the community team. I'm your host, Disco Lando. And if you've never seen Star Citizen Live before, lucky you. What a first show to start with. Today on the show, we have our esteemed community team. Hey! It's been a long time since we've had the community team on. Uh, we, we've 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 got we've we've got people with such cool online handles: as Zylo, Galactica, Chris, hey. Jake Acapella. I think you were supposed to like say hello when he and said Ulf. your name. Obviously, hello. No, <laughs> no. So, so yeah, so it, it, it has been some time since we've had the community team uh, on the show uh, with International Bar Citizen Weekend uh, upon us this week. Uh, we thought it, this is a wonderful time to bring them on back uh, for many folks who have joined since uh, we, were, we were talking about this in the pre-show. Yeah, I think the last time anybody has seen anybody's face was CitizenCon 2949 in 2019 it is right it's two nine hundred and thirty years yeah all right so you know we've gained all kinds of new citizens uh, uh since then uh through invictus and iae and just all the patches and all the things that have come to start citizens so let's get these folks back out in front of you and let's meet some of them uh many for the first time uh so we are going to start with chris chris yeah. Tell everybody hi. who you are and what you do for Star Citizen. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Chris. I'm a community manager here at Cloud Imperium Games. Um, I started here at CIG in October 2017, and it's actually my first job in the gaming industry, although I worked in public relations and education before that. And actually, um, I started a bit earlier, but not on official terms, because I helped out as a volunteer one year earlier at Gamescom, where we met the first time in real life. And ooh, I backed the game back in March 2013, so pretty early. And yeah, since then I'm joining and following and playing Star Citizen each and if every I day. Can, if I can share, when I, when I flew to Frankfurt for that Gamescom, Christian was not an employee at CIG, no. but when he came into the studio, everyone in the office was like, hey, Chris, hey, Christian, and <laughs> as if he had been working there for years. I think that was the moment when it was clear to everyone, we should probably let this guy actually work here since he seemingly <laughs> does already. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt a bit adopted to the family. I yeah. remember being in the booth at Gamescom uh, the first year he was a, the, the volunteer and everything, and, 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 and there, are, there are helpful people, and then there are helpful people and christian is the second one <laughs> and it was, it was at some point it was like i'm running out of things for you to do and then he'd, he'd go and he'd find somebody else to help he'd help and it was just a uh yeah it's a it's that kind of go-getter uh stuff uh it, it's been a while since we've done a live event but those volunteers yeah. are absolutely crucial to putting they together are. any gamescom any citizen con uh, any pax event so uh when someday Someday we will be back uh, to doing that stuff. All right, let's see what Jake. I pointed that way, and Jake's hello. On that Who are you? What do you do? Uh, hi, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm a I'm also a community manager out of the Austin studio, um, and I do all sorts of things here at CIG. But uh, everybody probably knows by now. I'm the curator of the public roadmap. Um. I started here November 2020 um, in the middle of the pandemic. So it's been uh, an interesting uh, tenure at CIG so far, for sure. Um, but before that, uh, kind of what got me into uh, Star Citizen is I was a content creator for a long time uh, over at uh, the artist formerly known as the Imperial News Network. They're now called Relay.sc. Um, and, uh, been doing that since 2015. And then, uh, uh, I hopped on board a couple of years ago. It's been almost two years now. 
and if we're talking about fun stories of the times before you were you were hired in, um, many folks uh, many folks uh, uh, assume these days that I'm a community manager. My ter my term started here as a community manager, but in 2017, 18, somewhere around there, uh, I moved into the world of global video production. But way back in was it 2016? We actually talked to you about becoming yep. a community manager for Star Citizen <laughs> back in 2016. And and, 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 and and curiously enough, we didn't go with you. We thought oh. better of it. And we yep. went with Tyler. We actually brought Weird. Tyler onto the community <laughs> management team instead of you back in and 2016. Then he hired, and then he hired me five years later. <laughs> I, I, I remember that that message. I remember that message from Tyler. Like, he was like, hey, I'm bringing Jake Acapella. And I was just like, all right, well, that, that's the wheel coming back around. Full circle, full circle. Yeah. I, I, I then sent him my notes from your interview about why we didn't hire you, and it, but it, it was oh, too late. It was too late. It's too late. That's yeah. fine. It was a mistake, to be honest. Uh, Galact I, wait, before you do it, before you do it, I, oh. I do want to say one thing is that when Jake joined CIG, his title was Junior Data Specialist, and he I was going to be focused on the back end of the roadmap and i think you he, jake you were one of the quickest promoted people ever because it was like a matter of months and then you moved into community management i think it was super obvious to everybody that you could handle a lot more everybody mm. minus jared. <laughs> minus jared <laughs> who cares about that guy's opinion right all right back to the realm of people who stuck with their cool nicknames and didn't give in to peer pressure galactica tell us who you are and what you do for star citizen Hi. So uh, I just want to say that Jake Acapella has been renamed to Roadmap Guy via chat. Um, <laughs> but hi, everybody. Uh, I am Galactica, and I'm, I think I'm the newest person in the community team, although I started back in November. Um, I am our social media manager. I work out of the Austin office. Um, some of you guys in chat uh, probably previously know me from being the social media manager for World of Warships. Um, and yeah, that is basically me in a nutshell. So uh, all the stuff that you see on our social media channels, uh, such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we actually just started a TikTok account recently, um, as a lot of the stuff that, that I manage. Uh, but I also support our community team and they also support me with uh, doing stuff on social. So yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. No, this is you in a nutshell. Help! <laughs> I got that reference. Yeah. I was going to do it earlier, but I wasn't on the camera, so it would have been wasted effort. Uh, Ulf, the man with only one name, like Madonna. Ulf, who are you and what do you do for Star Citizen? Just like Madonna. Yep. Just like Madonna. Madonna. Just like Madonna. There's really, you've never seen Ulf and Madonna in the same place. The same that time. is true. And I could now start seeing Material Girl, but I won't actually. <laughs> I could See. actually play it, or maybe Tyler and I could play it on the flute. I don't know. The maybe chat is going to put the pressure maybe, on. Maybe, 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 should we? Should we not? No, we're not doing it. We'll save it. We, we should charge for that if we're going to play together. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, hi, everyone. My name is Olf. Uh, I'm the lead community manager working out of the Frankfurt studio in Germany. Um, I'm with the company since uh, 2016, which is weird because it sounds like a lot of people got hired back in 2016, right? Um, I joined the company a week before Gamescom, and uh, a lot has changed since then. I do. All, all, I still remember the first, uh, the first week. Um, it was, you know, the the Alpha 3.0 demo that we that we had at the Gamescom booth, and. Uh, Jared, you had a magnificent beard back then. Uh, totally no. remember that. No. Oh, you no. did. You did. Um, and yeah, like every everyone, um, I remember everyone being like uh, super, um, super stunned uh, by the fact that you could actually um, set your foot on a planet in game uh, with that Gamescom demo. Um, so that was like one of the one of the the moments um, here at here at Cloud, Cloud Imperium Games. Um, and yeah, um, basically, uh, since then, um, as I, I started as a community manager and got promoted a couple of times, um, I'm now the lead community manager, um, you know, trying to, trying to help the team removing any blockers. Um, also trying to, you know, organize and distribute, uh, tasks using the different tools that we have and, um, yeah, also taking on communication tasks, 
since we are now planning uh, the comms plans and uh, executing them as well. Um, yeah, that's me. The the because because I moved into video right around the same time as you moved uh, into the community team. Uh, most of I don't have a whole lot of exposure uh, with all a lot of crossover, but when I do, it's always the same. It's basically me looking into a little tiny monitor live at Gamescom or, or CitizenCon and him just like this, <laughs> waiting to go live. Like like when I picture Ulf, like if I close my eyes, it's just this picture of him like just ready to go, at, you know, in CitizenCon. I just, I, that, that's how I will always uh, see you. And again, we've said it a couple of times, but I'm very much looking forward to the day when we can get back to that and I can throw it back to, to Chris and I can throw it back to, to, Oh, your name, Madonna. Now throw it back to Madonna. <laughs> uh, um, and you know, and, and, and maybe throw it to roadmap guy at some point and stuff like that. So, uh, roadmap guy. and then, uh, 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 last, uh, and least, uh, uh Zylo, uh, who are coming. you and what do you do? Hi everyone. Star Citizen. Um, I go by Zylo. My real name is Tyler Whitkin. I have been with Cloud Imperium Games for almost eight years. I was hired in 2014. It was right before 1.0 release, so there was no flying. It was just the hangar. Um, and I am the director of community, so I oversee our community team, social media, um, PR efforts, communication efforts, all that jazz. And yeah, super stoked to be back on here and get to introduce you all to all the brilliant people behind the scenes making awesome stuff all the time and 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 we met at pax south yeah to, th to early 2014 yeah god no 2015 was it was it 2015 2015 because you were working there yeah. and i was still a contractor at the time so yes, I was just contracted were, doing graphics for ATB and stuff. I was like going to say, I remember you were at PAX South because yes. you were helping and you weren't an employee, but I had so many people in the community tell me, Hey, there's a guy named Disco Lando there. He's a content creator. He's awesome. You should find him and take a picture with him. And you didn't even work at CIG at the time. And I did, I found you and was like, Hey, everybody tells me I should know you. <laughs> it is exactly what you said. And I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> I went back to <laughs> yeah. Be, uh, yeah, that was many years ago. I don't, you yes. didn't. You didn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was. I was a contractor, but I was not a, a, a like a formal employee. It's like when 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 HR gives me my when we do the reviews at the end of the year and stuff. HR doesn't count that time as employment because I was working as a as a contractor. Well, I count so. it. I yeah. count it. All right. So uh, we have got the full hour here with the community team, folks. So you can submit your questions live. We didn't put up a thread in the in spectrum, so we are taking all the questions uh, today live. You can submit your questions with the word question in capital letters surrounded by brackets and uh i'm gonna let these guys pull them out from the chat themselves and, and throw them to me and we'll go into that uh <sighs> right off the bat while the questions start coming in remember these are members of the chat. community team these are not game designers or ship balancers or, or uh, I mean, I mean, Jake is hey, the reason. We'll tell you what we would do if we yeah, were. Yeah, Jake is the reason why <laughs> things get pulled from the roadmap. Sure, but other than that, <laughs> it, 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 it's it's remember that these are the this these are the this is the community team. Uh, right off the bat, uh, the first question comes from uh, 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 Disco Lando, and it says, uh, 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 Chris, uh, "Christian, uh, uh, why are you wearing a Hawaiian shirt today? Uh, you suck up." You absolute suck up. No, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, you know, I normally only wear black, and I wanted to celebrate the day here on the live stream, so I decided to wear something bright and colorful. That is bright and colorful <laughs> for you. That is that is probably the most color I've ever seen. I, I've I've ever seen I've ever seen you wear. I think uh, you look fantastic. The best dressed person on the stream. Wow. Well, there is actually... one question that I saw in chat before you actually formally asked for questions that I do want to answer with a fun little story. And that is somebody asked, uh, said that they've heard that Zylo is a troll. And uh, so I thought, this would, <laughs> I thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, kind of highlight what kind of troll Zylo is. Oh, man. This is an intervention. This is yes. an intervention. This is an intervention. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We've gathered here today. <laughs> so 
um, it's, it's a fun story. So there was one day where we had like a holiday or something. And, uh, you know, as I managed the social media pages, I got a message on my personal Twitter account that was from the Star Citizen account that was all in ones and zeros. And I was just about to leave to go to like a restaurant with my friend. And I was like looking at all these messages and I'm just scrolling down all they were these all like in ones. Binary. Yeah, it was all in binary. And I'm like, oh my God, did our account get hacked? And why am I getting these messages to my personal account? And uh, so like, I'm not really familiar with binary. So at first, because my previous job was with World of Warships, uh, my first initial reaction was like, this must be Morse code. So I was like looking at Morse code <laughs> generators and I couldn't decipher it. And then I found somehow in the process of binary code generator and I was like, Oh, this is Silo sending me a message. Well played. <laughs> so yeah, that should answer your question if he's a troll or not. It uh, was a, I was giving a friendly reminder. I, I was I wanted to make sure that we were doing some stuff on social. And so rather than messaging directly and saying, hey, what are our plans on the social front? I decided to have the Star Citizen account come alive and message you in binary. It made sense to me. You know, I appreciate a good trolling though, so I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat as the questions start coming in, the first one is, it, it's as good a one to start with as any, uh, from Operator Abysmal uh, says, what does a community manager do in Star Citizen? Who wants to jump on that one? I bet you, I bet yeah, you all have di slightly different answers. Lots of things. <laughs> yeah, it's a very long list. Jake, why don't you? I'm sure you'll tank it. Yeah. Um, so um, our our team is basically uh, responsible for any front facing messaging that goes out in general, and that that's that's kind of like the the base of it like the foundation that everything else kind of gets built upon after that. So like, um, even if we're just talking comms, um, uh, specifically like we write this week in star citizen, we pick an MVP every week. Um, we do spectrum announcements, uh, the, uh, recent slew of like in-depth guides, uh, for like refueling and the medical system, uh, that was our team. Um, we review all the newsletters that go out, the monthly reports, like basically if it gets posted somewhere, <laughs> um, our, our team kind of handles that, um, for sure. Um, and then, uh, from there it kind of branches out. So it, it depends on, um, kind of like which one of us, uh, uh, is, is doing it at any given time. But, uh, that's kind of the thing about our team is we all, uh, we have our fingers in all of the community management pies. So we, um, uh, we often review each other's work. We, we make sure like everything, um, uh, like is aligned with everything. And plus, uh, we we all write all day every day and so it's helpful to have as many sets of eyes on something as possible um it's very very helpful um but uh but yeah uh the roadmap video publishing um press releases um uh, sentiment reporting um list goes on and on and on it uh yeah tyler you can even add more yeah, to that no i mean but, that, that's good i mean we it, it, the, the list is is very long, but it, essentially what you said is we are a crowdfunded game, right? We are built on a foundation of community. And because of that, um, you know, our community is the number one priority to us. And we always feel like everything we do, we have to do right by the community. We have to communicate with the community. With our team, we've, we've always said that if development is going to push the boundaries of what's possible, you know, with technology and with gaming... And then on the, on the community team, you know, we want to strive every single day to try and match that ambition. Like we owe it to our community to match our developers ambition when it comes to engagement and when it comes to um, communication. And so that's why a lot of our really unique efforts have come um, for some of the tools that we've made for the community. If you look at things like the guide system, um, the community hub, which we're super stoked to release the new version of um, super soon, actually. Um, we were, we wanted to get it out actually in time for um, Invictus launch week. Um, but some more polishing to do, but it's, it's going to totally change the way that the community, um, interacts with each other and shares content. Um, and we're always trying to look for opportunities like that to try and 
and to, and to provide and to build a bridge of communication, you know, both between players and players, but also between um, developers and players and totally a two-way street. And so, yeah, community management's interesting because it's less about managing and it's more about nurturing. It's more about relationships. It's more yeah. about building and maintaining that bridge of communication, you know, between the community um, and the developers. And like I said, it's a, it's a two-way, two-way street. And what a lot of people may not know is how involved in the various events and promotions and stuff are. Mm. Uh, uh, that that's where I tend to see Ulf these days outside of the the, the events. Ulf, talk about how how involved you are in in things like Foundation Festival and and uh, and Day of the Vara and you know all those all, all those different you know in fiction uh, events that go on throughout the year. I mean those those events those uh, those promotions they. You know, they they have started at some point, right? Like we we thought, like, hey, let's do, I don't know, like let's do a, a winter holiday uh, event, right? So we came up with a winter holiday event back in I think 20, 2016, right? And since then, it kind of evolved a lot uh, into what it is today, which is Luminalia, right? Like, and and those those kind of events, those kind of promotions, they are uh, driven uh, more or less also by the community team um, because you know we we start with the event and then we as we mentioned in the, the beginning of, of the show, we're also he heavily involved into sentiment tracking and we're doing post-mortem, see what what worked and what didn't work. And then next next year or the next time we run a promotion, the next time we run an event, we're, we're iterating on it. It's the same with, with uh, everything in Star Citizen, right? So um, those kind of events, they grow over time. And uh, the community team itself, um, we're involved, as Jake said, with the like from the communication everything that is going out all the all the uh, posts that you see on spectrum all the com links that are going out on the website but also of course everything on social newsletters and so on so there's a lot of a uh, lot of things that we are involved in and um coming back to how those kind of events evolve um you know we 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 started um, um those events you know, because we thought it would be nice if we have one of those. And then we kind of look at it from a big picture, see what, what, what worked, what didn't work, and then we improve on it again. And um, actually for Luminaria, I think it's a good, uh, it's a good um, example because we, after the first holiday, uh, winter holiday, we actually got Luminaria uh, into the lore, right? And then after that, uh, the, that promotion, we started with a small advent calendar, right? A run of to Luminaria countdown. I think it was a six days countdown to Luminaria. And then the year after the, the advent calendar, I'm just calling it advent calendar for uh, the lack of a better word, uh, got even bigger. Um, sure, we got a lot of like positive feedback for it. We also got you know a bit of bit of negative feedback for a handlebar that we included in in the in the advent calendar but those kind of feedback uh, this kind of feedback is very very helpful for us because we know what we can what we what we uh what the community likes and what the community doesn't like and then next year we can do it even better and right. the the best thing for this one i'm almost yeah. finished uh, <laughs> the best thing for this one was actually the uh uh the the luminaria sweater contest which i think was was very yeah. very cool um the year after we got it um, implemented into the game, right? The the running, uh, the winning, winning sweater design got implemented into the game, and it was only like two weeks ago when I went to uh, the Belgian Beacon event, uh, where I actually ran into a player uh, who recreated that uh, that sweater in real life and 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 wore it as a cosplay during during the event, which was really nice to see. Uh, uh, and let's expand that uh, question about community managers to the social media manager, uh, Galastica. What's what's your day like? Uh, so my day is like, I'm, I, I always tell people that I'm a million places at once because I am constantly juggling between uh, planning events, um, you know, scheduling post out, uh, reviewing the post um, and engaging with our community. So I actually live for the moments that I can have a little bit of extra time to do some bantering back and forth on our social media pages. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, I made a reference to a, a Super Troopers reference recently. Um, and for everybody who was commenting on the post, I was meowing back at them. So it's kind of fun to be able to engage with the community and and give personality but you know while while i'm also have, trying to have fun with the community you know anytime that i see an opportunity that i can respond to somebody and help somebody out um i do appreciate being able to do that as well 
Um, but yeah, so I am fairly new to the team. So I personally haven't um, attended any live events. Um, this Sunday will be my first one, um, but that's definitely going to also be something um, that I will be doing in the near future as well. So yeah, kind of all over the place, um, but uh, yeah. It's and, and going back to kind of like what community management is about, um, I like to say the best way to explain it is kind of being the conduit or like the middleman between um, the forward facing players and, you know, the, the back end developers and everybody else who's working kind of behind the scenes. And that's really the core of of what we all do. You mentioned the uh, internet, the the bar of citizens this weekend. So let's let's touch on that for a bit. Uh, there was a question I lost it, but somebody asked, "Who's going to the?" Oh, there we go. Sovi Raider said, "Who will we be meeting at this weekend at the individual bar of citizen events?" Also, love the whole Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, we'll, we'll focus on the first part. Uh, so, who's going to those uh, international bar of citizen events? All of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and not just us as well, but we've had dozens and dozens and dozens of developers around the globe express their excitement to get back out there. Um, we've talked a lot about it in the past, but bar citizens are, while they're community created and they happen more often than not without CIG there because they happen in locations not close to the studio, um, when we do have an opportunity to go to them, they're so much more impactful to staff than I think anybody outside of CIG realizes. Um, in fact, I've gone as far as to suggesting to recruitment and to our people team that, you know, going to a bar citizen should be a mandatory, you know, or, or a prerequisite to being hired just because the, the amount of, um, energy and electricity you feel and the passion you feel, it totally charges up your battery for like the rest of the year. So it's been a long two years without them. And I think we're all so revved up and ready for this Sunday and, and Saturday and Sunday. And then, um, for the bar citizen events throughout the rest of the year. And, and then for the, the physical events as we, um, you know, deem it safe and, 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 and ready to start going to, yeah. I'm really excited because uh, this will, th this is my first uh, like official event uh, after having been hired, but I also just miss them terribly because uh, uh, I've been, uh, I've been to two citizen cons. I've been to a million bar citizens, um, uh, verse con a couple times. Like, uh, I'm, I'm missing the community in person. Uh, it's, it just to echo Zylo. Um, it absolutely fills the tank for sure. And this is a good time to remind folks that, you know, while we are taking these first steps out, uh, back out into the world that remember that there is still uh, a global pandemic on and 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 folks at the event may be uh, may have conditions themselves or may be going home to family who have conditions and stuff so if we can avoid handshakes and 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 hugs especially I know, I, I know hugs are like the best part about this stuff but just if you're going there a little precaution stuff would be appreciated by everybody now for those who are going to make up for the no hugs and the, 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 the no handshakes. I understand there is something to be gotten, uh, uh, so, so something to, to, to get our hands on if we do go to the uh, events. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, we, we have been working on a new code redemption tool on the website. When I say we, I mean the platform team. Um, and with this tool, it opens up a lot of opportunities for us to do more giveaways um, in, in new and unique ways. And so we're going to be starting that with these international, with International Bar Citizen Day and the events throughout the rest of the year. So if you can't make one this weekend, um, but we are going to be giving out these cards. And I think that you may have the file. Ooh, um, it's on the screen right now. Uh, yes. And so this is, uh, don't mind the, uh, the sweet vehicle paints in the background. You'll learn more about that next week. Um, but if you attend a Bar Citizen this weekend, uh, we will be handing these out at the five events around the globe. So the UK, um, Frankfurt, Austin, LA, and Montreal. Uh, we printed a few thousand of them to get us through the rest of basically between now and December. But what it gives you, if you go back to the first image, uh, it will redeem a prop that you will have in game that this character is holding. And some of you may recognize this is um, a Banu cube that is uh, from the Banu Defender trailer. So if you wanted to go see it in, in 
higher resolution, check out the Banu Defender trailer. Um, but it is actually a replica Banu lockbox. And so every card, it's not a lotto thing. Every single card, you scratch it off, redeem the code, you get the cube. And so we're going to be handing those out uh, all weekend and throughout the rest of the year. Hmm. Some uh, people in chat say it's a Tesserex. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And uh, it's worth noting that on the card, there is that uh, expiration date of October 10th, 2024. So, so take them back to your home and redeem them, but don't wait yep. too long. It's like over two years. But. All right. So let's go back to the, uh, let's, let's follow up the question of whether we're going to be at the International Bar Citizens with a question from Das Runde. Oh, I shouldn't have even tried. Uh, <laughs> I am not the I am not the pronunciator. Uh, will you be at Gamescom this year? So das I haven't actually I haven't actually das Runde about this. I found out early this morning in in conversations. I haven't even told my team. So there, y'all in the community are finding out at the same time as the community team um, is that we we will have a presence at at Gamescom. Um, what that's going to look like, not sure yet. You know, in the past, we've done like four nights of wild bar citizens. Whether we're going to do that or one bar citizen uh, is to be seen. Well, just to be very clear, we're not going to be on the show floor with a booth or anything. Um, but it is a, it's always been an opportunity for us because there's so many star citizen backers that go to this event. Um, and so it's definitely right for us to come and engage and hang out and spend time with all of you. So we got to figure out what that looks like. And we will let you know as soon as we do. And we all love Cologne, so yes, uh, uh, Tyler. We 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 have a we have a lock to to visit we on did, that bridge. That's true. There's a good chance that it's not there anymore because they kind of cut them down after a couple of years because there's so oh. many of them. You didn't have to tell us that. No, you can. No, I just wanted to <laughs> let you know because you could bring a new one. I don't want to oh, do okay. this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they're just gonna cut it down, what's the point? Guys, we're witnessing a breakup live on stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why would you even tell us that, Olf? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just Next thought I, 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 I'd let you know. Real. We brought the whole show down, Olf. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe okay, yours is still there. We, we Maybe yours is still guys. there. Yeah. <laughs> and we can make a new lock with all our names on it, so... Changing Large them into where they... joy goes to die. <laughs> there you are. Your name is you now go. where joy goes to die. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cyber Viking 69 <laughs> nice. says, being the front face of the community, how do you guys handle the stress of dealing with the angry mob? Keep up the good work as well. Um, something that um, that I've I've just learned over my years on the internet um, is is very often that uh, people who are angry are usually angry because they're passionate about something, yeah. um, and you um, like I'd I'd much rather somebody be mad than silent, like or apathetic, really. Um, because that, that just means they care at the end of the day. So very often, like, even if, um, even if somebody like is, uh, is super salty about something or really upset, um, very often there's, uh, there's very good feedback in there somewhere. <laughs> um, so it, it's something you just remember is that like, even, even if somebody's upset, it's often because they care. Yeah, hundred percent. It's a big part of our role is being able to look beneath that surface layer to find the root cause or the root feedback. And, and Jake nailed it is that sometimes some of the angriest people, and we're not content with people being angry, of course, but some of the yeah. angriest and the loudest people sometimes have um, some of the most meaningful or specific feedback. Um, and so it's part of our job to kind of break that down and go down that hole and see if we can uncover what it is. And that's one of the reasons why giving constructive feedback is so helpful because it just creates less layers that we have to try to decipher. It's more direct. And that's, you know, you'll see us regularly suggesting, you know, to be more constructive on spectrum because it saves us time and it also helps your feedback be heard. And for those people in the chat, they're like, oh, so we should be more salty. No, you missed the message of what he was just saying. If, <laughs> if you're, if the more salty you are, the more we have to dig 
for what the actual you know truth and situation yep. is. Constructive feedback is a much more efficient and healthy way of doing it. And 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 as for me, uh, how I deal with it, uh, I left the community. <laughs> 2017 so i didn't have to deal with it anymore i just i just forward it to them and i'm like that's all you i'm i'm a video dude now so so that that's an option too uh just run away like i did Um, Uh, let me let me quickly follow up on this because you know we we all play the game i play Mm -hmm. the game at least once a week with with my friends in my spare time and so we run into the same issues as everybody else does, and our devs play the game, and they run into the same issues as, as everybody else does. And to be honest, we can be salty too. Um, but then it's us transforming this into, again, valid feedback, constructive feedback, and deliver it to our developers. And so we, we feel every pain a backer might experience in some situations when he runs into bugs or she runs into bugs. But... Um, I just wanted to say we feel you and it's okay to criticize. Um, as Tyler said, it actually helps us a lot. Yeah, no, it, it's true. And we also have to exercise restraint in being salty when we're dealing with stuff internally, because it's absolutely true during internal play tests or when we're playing with the community, if we run into frustrating issues, sometimes we have to remind ourselves, you know, we got to remain constructive because we've got the, the Todd Pappies and the Ian Leyland's on speed dial. And so it's, you know, it's very easy to be like, yo, you know, what's this is broken since last patch. And so we, we also have to exercise that, that patience uh, when we get into feedback reporting, which honestly segues pretty nice into that other, that other question that's listed there about um, how is community feedback curated for the dev team? How often, and what is the process um, there, this, there, there's not a short answer to this because I do want to take this opportunity to shine a light on another department that we work closely with um, that deserves a huge shout out. And that's the player experience team um, underneath. Um, you may have, you all may remember Bayor, um, but the player experience team has, has ramped up a lot recently. And so they, the player experience team is obviously focused very specifically on the betterment of the gameplay experience. And while community is attacking the same type of thing, just from a different angle. Um, so we work pretty well together with our powers combined and such. Um, but I will say that that team has had more than a dozen backers join their department in Austin in the last month or two, um, which is like, it's a, that's a lot of hires to ramp up really quickly. And I want to say that everybody I've interacted with on that team, they come with such like renewed vigor and excitement and passion coming from the community. Um, but they're all so sharp and intelligent. And it's just, I think I've never felt better about the community voice being heard because of the amount of champions inside that are listening even after hours when they should just log off and go to sleep. It's one of the biggest challenges that we face at CIG sometimes is trying to make people stop working because it's hard when you care about so much about the project and because you're trying to make the game that you've always wanted to play. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take a moment and give a huge shout out to Bayor's team, all the player experience folks, even the new folks who are already making a positive impact, even though they've only been here a few weeks. Um, but back to the original question, we we do sentiment tracking um, for every type of campaign promotion activation. We track it all in Confluence. Uh, it's it's tasked out. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we are structured about it. We have regular social media reports. We have um, event reports and uh, we have meetings with dev uh, regularly to go over things. Um, and then we also submit content upwards. And sometimes when it's important enough, we have to pick up the phone and figure things out on the fly, especially for some of those bigger issues. Uh, yeah. Anything to add from anyone else? Um, some of the, like, um, I, I was pulling questions from chat, so I apologize if I didn't hear you, but uh, like some of the, the, um, like things that we flagged up, uh, for dev to kind of tackle recently, um, that we've had some success with is, uh, the most recent example is, uh, ship to ship desync, uh, that's, uh, got vastly improved in 317. Um, the content that has come out of it since then has been spectacular. So, uh, I, I appreciate that very, very much. Um, and then, um, one of the, the other ones that was, uh, kind of a drive, um, from community as well as player experience, uh, definitely is, um, uh, 30k errors and being able to defang them <laughs> a little bit uh, with the the updates that we had uh, last year. Um, in, in that your your cargo um, will um, 
will persist and be preserved <laughs> even in the event of uh, of a 30k. So um, those are just uh, like a couple examples of of stuff that we've um, like added added the community's voice to to get uh, prioritized for sure. Uh, there's a question from an immortal kid that says, "Does playing live with the CIG account?" mean you have to be good at pvp because we all try to come and take you down it helps <laughs> we are um, targeted yeah. yeah yes um <laughs> it 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 definitely gives me practice <laughs> i'll tell you that much um especially uh, i played a lot of jump town uh when we we did the last uh, couple jump towns and uh i was absolutely uh <laughs> uh targeted but it was it was great uh, i was having a great time the, um the, the one game of jump town i saw you in you were with astro pub and your, your body was just stuck under a bunker the entire time listen sometimes things don't <laughs> go according to plan we said we the answer <laughs> to the question was yes it would be beneficial to be good at pvp he didn't say that he was good at PvP. Fair. Fair. i wouldn't have believed him if he did <laughs> uh, let's see what else do we got here um, uh, what features uh, this is from uh, uh, Shint Sab Sabaki uh, what features are you looking forward to most um, the one you showed me yesterday Jake <laughs> yeah do you, want me, do you want me to talk about it I wouldn't talk about it save it for Jared's show but you can tell him what it is okay munch, munch, um, munch, 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 munch. Uh, well there's that and then uh, it's actually the um, the overhaul of the Moby Glass. Um, it's it's starting to uh, coalesce, and it looks phenomenal. I'm very very excited uh, for you guys to see it. Have anybody else? Come on, Christian. Uh, what features are you looking forward to? <laughs> I, I, I want I want racing tracks in the bus. That's a hot topic right now. I don't even I know. know if you're aware of that. Yeah, that's such a hot topic right now. Oh, I there saw has... something. Yeah. Yeah. The way. There was, without going into too much detail, there was an email from Chris that started it all that turned into a big thread about, I don't want to spoil too much. I'll just say no, no, that no. the idea of having more opportunities to race in the persistent universe has become a very hot topic as of late. Yep. Uh, uh, Next season of I, uh, you know, this season ends in in June. Then there's a new season that starts at the end of July. Uh, look for maybe mid August for 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 an update in ISC about something cool. Like yeah. That. Without touching specifically on that though, I can harp on the fact that like we're not strangers to the fact that the emergent gameplay coming from you know groups like XGR and SCR and, and Atmo Esports is um is just so incredibly cool and we all watch yeah. it as if it's like the Super Bowl every time the events we have it's awesome. parties in our studios we put it up on the TVs in the boardroom like we love that stuff so much we want to support it as y'all know Damar Rally you know became canon um in our lore um there's a lot of discussion about how we can better support those types of groups actually in game providing tools so that rather than you know having to place a ship or utilize a random rock as a marker or a checkpoint that maybe you'll be provided with tools that will allow you to do it in a better way. Wow. Yeah, and I love I love watching how those events have evolved over the years too, um, especially as more and more systems start to come online. Like I'm excited for how um, racing or even actually, especially PVP, um, uh, will take advantage of uh, refueling that just came in, but eventually when repair comes in as well, like uh, being able to patch up your ships on the fly will be really cool. Um, so like kind of seeing each of those systems and how it how it touches those events and changes how they operate is is super fascinating. How about you where Joy goes to die? <laughs> so should I should I actually react on this one? Oh, well, I'm looking I'm looking forward to um, the reclaimer becoming fully functional. Like I wanna I wanna wanna fly that reclaimer and munch down other other ships. That's that's what I'm looking forward to the most. What you got there? What you got there, troll? <laughs> nice one. Um, munch munch munch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Let's see what else do we got here. Uh, uh, is 
<laughs> from Hasga, huh? Uh, when is Witch Glitch coming back? It's not. Someday. It's not. That's no, not coming back. Someday. It's not. You know back. that gets asked every time I'm in front of a camera. I, I, so maybe I, there's a maybe there's demand for it. No. That's all I'm saying. Jay. Here, here, well, well, here, here, here's here, here's the thing. There's a rare video related question that's in my thing. We try to avoid stuff that, quite frankly, you guys can make yourselves and better <laughs> it's like you don't need us quite to put succinctly you don't need us to show you the bugs you guys experience them well enough now would i like to see a community made witch glitch with maybe you know you know you know we, we, all, all those all those combinations of streamers that are working together lately to, to do this stuff would i like to see a community run one like that with, with like a panel of 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 of, of, of luminaries from the community uh, do the commentary and stuff. That would—that's what I would like to see. So rather we'll see. than us doing it, Who uh, remembers the Roomba, the Roomba bug. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyler, you're still collecting those, right? Our folder has grown tremendously. Wow. Yeah, It's—they say it's a target-rich environment. Well, there's also, as we exposed in the first uh, count disco, there's that, there's that confluence page, the things we've seen. That has yes, just the things the we've seen. Egregious, terrifying. Just, uh, the, 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 that, was, that was all real. That was all from the things we've seen. That wasn't like created for the show. Uh, let's see. Where do we where do we go from here? Um, what is a community run event like Daymar Rally that you'd love to see come to the verse? Well, I just said mine. I want to see a community run witch glitch. Uh, what about you guys? I've got one. Um, especially when the cargo refactor comes online, I want like logistics races and, oh, like but a, it, like a, what are they? Three legged, like the rally, like the, uh, what's it called? A relay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you like have having to unload a ship and load a different ship or even like a, um, a cargo ground limits. vehicle, like a, like a, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah. That was a thing at one point um <laughs> but yeah like uh when the when the car refactor comes online it's gonna allow for stuff like that um so so yeah that that'd be super cool like different flavors of race and more death races give me all the death races <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see those mules uh really come alive with, with some cargo olympics i'm excited Definitely. i'm excited i am for me i am wildly disappointed that we don't have an extreme cyclone uh, esports division where it's not about racing but about who can do the craziest stunt. This needs to happen with like flips and everything. Yeah, everything, especially as the new uh, physics comes online for ground vehicles. I think it's style like, points it's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we need we need the ramps and the circles, the wings that we had in the hangar. Oh yeah, the... many many years ago to come back. That was that's like 2013. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, just put them somewhere in the bus and let people have fun with it. And eventually, when physicalized damage, you can get some real demolition style races uh, going. You know, no weapons, just you got to take everybody out through impact. Uh, yeah, there, there, there's, 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 there's definitely some uh, opportunities there. Um, <laughs> Victor Karloff uh, bringing a little bit of the heat. Uh, says, will the community team focus more on Spectrum in the future and respond to the flood of feedback posts? Well, I mean, um, we're, we're definitely trying to to be where we get the feedback, like where where the community is, right? And the community is spread um, amongst a lot of different channels, right? So we do have people that are on Spectrum and only on Spectrum, and the, but there's also players that never go to Spectrum and you know send in their feedback on maybe social media, like maybe on Twitter or maybe on Reddit, or maybe people only go on Twitch and give us their feedback there. So we're trying to go uh, wherever wherever we get the feedback and um, responding to all the feedback posts is. It's hard because uh, there's a lot of feedback posts out there, but uh, just because just because um, we don't respond to to all the posts doesn't mean that we don't see them, right? Like we're um, like every every morning we open up Spectrum, we go through all the different posts that that have been done throughout the uh, the night or the day. Uh, kind of depends on time zones, right? So that's a bit weird now. 
Um, but um, yeah, as I said, reading them and then, as Tyler said uh, earlier, then relaying this feedback to where it should be, right, to the to the developers or uh, collecting it in those sentiment reports or feedback reports that we're doing on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, um, spectrum uh, definitely is something where we we have a focus on, but uh, we'll also try to be uh, on all the other channels where the community is. It's also um, like uh, on on top of all of that. Uh, it's it's basically um, sometimes we don't have the answer immediately, um, or the answer will come not in a direct reply. Like um, uh, often we get like a spectrum thread that has feedback that will feed back, uh, that will like show to the team that's working on whatever that is, then uh, their discussions start and then they uh, start to work on something. And then maybe it comes in a patch watch that says, hey, um, based on feedback, we address this thing. Uh, like desync was uh, a prime example of that. Um, uh, there was a million threads on on uh, ship to ship desync um, uh, that basically we, uh, we wanted to we wanted to make sure we had a good answer for it when we answered it. Um, and in that case, we um, we found a solution very quickly, and it was right about when a patch was uh, going to come out. So we put it in uh, uh, patch watch to let everybody know. Um, so even if it's not a direct reply, um, every everybody is absolutely heard, and sometimes the answer comes in a different channel than just a reply. Yeah. I mean, when, when I joined as a backer and then joined the team, I was actually surprised really how much um, the, the community's feedback really impacts the development. And I know many devs are reading on Reddit, on Spectrum, and they might not reply, but then maybe they call us and say, hey, can you give me your opinion on, on this thread? Have you seen similar feedback? Um, what do you think? And then as Rick said, they start talking and your feedback people out there really impacts our work. It really does. Uh, it, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, just to piggyback on that, um, you know, it, it feels like there's a lot of people on this call today, but for the, for the amount of stuff that the community team does, we are actually stretched pretty thin. Um, and, and I, I think that a lot of the folks we've had join the community team over the years uh, or, or work closely with us, whether it's in marketing or in support, there's always a bit of shock with how much the community team is doing because we are, like I mentioned earlier, because we're built on a foundation of community, we, we literally are involved in just about everything when it comes to, you know, the features that are going out to, you know, to publishing, to support, to any type of communication, PR, anything, um, even the marketing stuff, we're heavily involved because, um, you know, alongside the player experience team, we are the collective voice of the player. Uh, and we do our best to amplify what's being said within the community and what the general sentiment is. And then also to be proactive and get ahead of what we feel the community will like, what they won't like, and and stress that before things even make it to prime time. If there was a list of of ideas or or just the concepts that were that were coming out internally that our team has squashed and said, no, 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 no. You know, uh, some slip by us. Digital tickets at Citizen Con a while back, you know there's definitely misses sometimes, but for the most part, we have killed and squashed most of the things like that before they ever see the light of day. And that's something that, that, that we're really proud on, by the way, about the, um, being stretched thin, thin thing. Um, we are going to be putting up a role for a community manager in our UK office, our first CM on the UK side. I'm putting it out there now. It's not even listed on the website yet, but in the next couple of weeks, it should show up. So for those of you in the UK who are interested in joining this team, there will be an opportunity to do so. Come work with us. We're nice, we promise. We have cookies. With them. Down imperiumgamescom slash jobs, yeah. by the way. That is the website. Yeah, yeah. It's not there yet, but yeah. soon. With them, not, yeah. not with me. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you. Just, just. Um, <laughs> while we're here with some heat, while we're, while we're addressing some hot... Uh, questions here. Let's get one, one or two more. Uh, why weren't the rewards for the guide system permanent? Uh, this would maybe encourage more people to help new people make this great community even better. That is a great point. There is a very long answer to this, and I'm going to see if I can summarize it in less got a than 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try and summarize it. Our long-term plan for incentivization is so much 
broader than just the guide system. We are trying to do something um, and the back end that we've been planning for, it is, I guess, uh, temporarily called the Star Citizen Points Program, and it'll have a way cooler in-lore name once it, it debuts. But what we'd like to do is incentivize people not just for being a guide, but for doing anything. If we can, you know, foster a positive, welcoming community through incentivization, if we can, you know, reward people for being good in general, um, then it would be uh, it would be a lot better. So here's here's the elevator pitch: is imagine if there was a storefront where you could purchase things like a ticket to citizen con or a new ship or a paint or a wearable for your character or anything like that. But it's, it's not using real money. It's using a currency and we'll just call that star citizen points. And you can earn that through, you know, being a guide, maybe referring someone, maybe attending a play test, maybe getting kudos and spectrum for helping a player. The list is endless. It would be a modular program that, you know, publishing could plug into when they need concurrency for PTU tests and support could plug in when they want, you know, player contributions, uh, you know, for the issue council or player experience um, that we could plug into when we want people to, you know, be good guides. And it would be a very big program that kind of ties everything into one unified thing where we essentially reward people to just be good overall. Um, so that's, that's what's going on with the foundation festival paints is, they, they're permanent as in when you were awarded them, you get to keep them. Um, but yes, you, you don't earn the incentives in the guide system year round, but we do have a plan to um, have a permanent incentive program for the guide system. And speaking of Foundation Festival, it's coming back soon. And if you liked the last one we did where there was one paint reward, the new Foundation Festival has 12. So there's a paint for every category. So lots of opportunity to take home some sweet uh, offerings for free. Paints are really sweet too. Yeah. They're very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if, you, if anyone has an idea on what that Star Citizen Points name should be, I'd love to hear it because we've had so many brainstorm sessions about what it would, be, what the currency would be called. So, and, and everybody knows we're really good at naming things. <laughs> star. <laughs> That's coins. why we're asking them. If, if it ends up being Star Points or, or Point Citizen, <laughs> um, Citizen Starbucks, Points. No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, swear to God. Uh, I like Jake Bucks. Somebody yeah, said Jake, yeah. Jake I, Bucks I in the chat. Wait, who said Starbucks? That is awful. There was a couple <laughs> of Starbucks. No. All right. All right. We, 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 got, we got time for, for, for two more. Uh, are we having Alien Week this year? Yes. Yes. Very much so. We're having Tell them when. You're having, uh, it's next, it's next Tell week. them when. Yeah, it's fine. The 16th. All right. And, and, and I'll go ahead and tell you that uh, for ISC, and I'm not going to spoil anybody else's plans. I'm just going to talk about my plans. But for ISC, uh, the entire episode is dedicated to the Banu Merchantman, and current edit is 22 minutes. So you're going to see it's a lot. Big. Of I think some folks recently have been asking, how can we stop seeing the Banu Merchantman for the for, you know for the last month or two? Is it at risk? No, we've been saving it. Yeah. For next week. Yep. And 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 that 22 minutes. It's not even the whole thing, so yeah. we, uh, we we got we got a road ahead. We got a road ahead. We're not gonna just dump it all. It's over. exciting, uh, uh, but but prepare to have your your socks knocked. All right, last question. Um, uh, I, I don't have a name for who asked this, but if you could bring back because we're all former backers and stuff like this, we've been here for a while and stuff. Uh, if you could bring back one thing that was in the game but was removed or stopped for some reason. What would it be? Uh, the examples they give are turtles or people moving big vending <gasps> machines to Port Olasar. What, what, what's, what's the one thing from our past that you'd bring Turtles. Back? The turtles is a good one. I do miss it the have turtles. Have released and then been taken away? The fish tank. The fish have tank. Have a moat. Have a moat. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I, like, I, don't, I don't know where we moved Yeah, it. but you're where Joy goes to die. So. If, it was, if it was for me, I would still have have a moat. So okay. this is before my time, but I've seen videos of it that there's like these little drones that used to like repair your oh, ship, and oh, that seems yeah. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Those will come back from Cryo Station. Those will come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. All right. So uh, that one wasn't released, but it, I vote Sadable. Yeah, I know it wasn't technically in taken away, but still, I'm still hoping for Sadable. I know, yeah. I know, um, dude. They're, they're the at... community version, isn't? It? What's the name, Jake? Do you remember? The uh, oh, shooty ball! Shooty ball! <laughs> <laughs> shooty ball's awesome. Yeah, 
All right. So we've got um, shooty ball, saddle ball, uh, repair my, drones. Mine is Tessa Bannister. Bring her back. Tessa Bannister. Uh, we all about, we all love Jared's, and miss her. Oh, oh. You, what about you, Jared's three point beard? You maybe if we no, get enough hype no. <laughs> and on, maybe if we get enough hype on no. Reddit after this, that we can no. have a four point beard. No. Uh, 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 Jake, <laughs> you won't be able to Do hear it. this, but I'll play this just for you. Okay. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Sophie I hear it. Oh. Junior cartographer Tessa Bannister reporting in. I'm the eyes behind all the ICC scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. We all right, that's enough. I have I have all of Tessa just here, just stored. <laughs> to the Actually, to the realest Tessa one is at Jared's house right now. Yep, Tessa Bannister is at my house. That's why I moved to the UK. <laughs> the truth is finally known. Two, two words: distressed bacon. I don't understand. <laughs> Memories. No, don't. My system is stuck, processing an unknown reading. Okay, uh, so that's it. Everybody, thanks so much uh, for coming and hanging out with the community team on this fine uh, June tenth, twenty twenty-two. Uh, I have to give a special happy birthday to Dad Lando. Today is his birthday. Uh, I have, happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Wait, should we all sing? No Before earthly idea oh. how old he yes. is. We should sing. We should if sing. We, if we, we sing, totally it'll be great. Sing. It'll be yeah. so bad. And we need everybody in chat to sing with us. Too. I was going to say, uh, if chat's not singing, yeah. we're not singing. All right, okay. All right, wait, you, wait. You, we, need, we need chat to start it first. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. You, well there's right. a delay. That's not going to work. It will work. <laughs> we just wait long enough and then it should work. We'll just all be off singing. Go ahead. Happy birthday to Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Dad Lando! Dad Lando! Dad Lando. Dad Lando. Dad Lando. I don't know what name to call you by. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, happy birthday, happy birthday. No, no, to done. you. Anyway, uh, uh, not anymore. No, stop. <laughs> that was Chris. That was Troll. That was Galactica. That was Roadmap Guy. And that was where Roadmap Joy goes to die. Guy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this week. Uh, tune in uh, next week for Alien Week uh, and all the Alien Week festivities. Check out the robertspaceindustries.com website for details when that stuff goes up. Don't forget International Bar Citizen Weekend is this weekend. You can go to robertspaceindustries.com right now and find out the locations and the times for Austin, Los Angeles, Manchester, Frankfurt, and our newest studio in Montreal. So check that out. Uh, remember you can get these cool, let me bring that up one more time, these cool little uh, 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 cards, these scratch them cards uh, that'll reward you. This nifty Banu uh, Tesseract uh, uh, gives you all control over time, space, and reality, just like the one in the that. movie. It doesn't do that. Uh, 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 that uh, I cleared it with legal. <laughs> it tells you, That's fine. It tells you the location <laughs> of Jedi younglings. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> and it makes julienne fries. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Until next time. Bye. 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 There's no way in hell that beard's coming back. Don't even start it. Oh, <laughs> it's not happening. Please.